In this guide, we are going to go over one of my favorite builds and one of the most popular builds right now. Yes, I'm talking about Rogue Servitor. This video was made during 3.10. You need the Synthetic Dawn DLC to play this one. Unlike most machine empires, Rogue Servitors usually have zero unity issues. That is because Biotrophies produce a lot of unity, so make sure you build sanctuaries on your habitable worlds. Also, any conquered populations that you get become Biotrophies and can be resettled to worlds with sanctuaries on them to completely remove the stability penalty. This is a benign way to purge worlds without all the negative consequences. It is actually a good idea to engage in diplomacy unlike other machine empires. Another strength with rogue servitors are that they can colonize any planet with 100% habitability, so no penalties. This allows for speedy growth of your empire. While rogue servitors use consumer goods for biotrophies and food, it usually is not a problem like it is with standard empires. Rogue Servitor is a machine empire, so pick Gestalt Consciousness and Machine. So for Civics, you must pick Rogue Servitor. The second pick has some options. I like to pick Rapid Replicators for improved pop growth, but there are other good picks as well. I would pick a dry planet like Savannah or Desert for your preferred planet. You cannot pick Machine World Origin, so pick the Relic World instead. This will allow you to upgrade your capital to an Arcology. Also, another strength of Rogue Servitor is the ability to build Arcologies and Machine Worlds. This is a huge advantage late game. There are two species to pick for, your Machines and your Biotrophies. For Biotrophies, pick Rapid Breeders, Traditional, and Conservationalist for positive traits. Then pick Fleeting and Deviance for negatives. For your machines, pick Power Drills, Super Conductive, and Mass Produced for positives. Pick High Bandwidth and Luxurious for negative traits. This boosts your economy, unity, and even further increases your pop growth. With Ruler Traits, pick Official and Logistical Understanding. The first few planets you get, you will want to make a Generator World ASAP, and then a Mining World next. Use your capital for Industrial Districts, Every time you get a planet that matches your Biotrophy's planet preference, make sanctuaries on it. You will need generator worlds to feed your research labs. Leaders have changed and while I'm not going to give too much detail, I am going to say that you want to max out your scientists. The more you have, the faster you will find habitable worlds. Colonize every single planet as a machine even if it's not your Biotrophy's preference. Ramp up alloy production. Build an alloy building on your capital. Try to get as high a monthly alloy gain as you can. As soon as you meet an alien empire, start pumping out ships. You won't need food right away, but make plans to get at least one agriculture world. Build a factory world if you start having a deficit in consumer goods. You normally do not have to deal with consumer goods deficits early on. That's mainly later. Keep playing Stellaris as normal otherwise. Pick either Discovery or Prosperity first for your traditions, then pick Supremacy for your second and the rest is up to you. Again, colonize every planet you find immediately, even Tomb Worlds, since your main species are machines and are not affected by habitability. If you have enough credits and minerals, then start designating Forge Worlds. Pump out ships, go for economy and research tech, then weapons. As for planetary leaders, scientists should be really good as they give unity bonuses to planets. So if you make sanctuary worlds and put scientists with that trait on them, it should give a nice bonus to unity from your biotrophies. Go for anti-gravity engineering as early as you can so you can start pumping out ecologies mid to late game. Oh, I almost forgot. A good first ascension pick is transcendental learning increasing your scientist cap, which is great early game. Shared Destiny is a good pick all around if you plan on having subjects and or want to engage in diplomacy. Get the Arcology Ascension perk as soon as you can. These will catapult your unity and alloy production. Then pick up the Machine Worlds Ascension perk after that. Arcology comes first before Machine Worlds though. Every so often, 
in between the other tasks, build sanctuaries on your world. Make sure you have resettled the loud so you can move your biotrophies around. You will need to do so when your sanctuaries get too crowded. Make more and then resettle your overcrowded biopops to empty sanctuaries. Warning, if you do not have adequate sanctuaries to house your trophies, you will take a massive stability loss. Don't worry, you can fix this easily by either building a new sanctuary or by again resettling them to another world with empty sanctuary slots. Another thing to be careful of when you get the Machine World Ascension perk, make sure you don't turn all your biohabitable preference worlds into Machine Worlds. You can't have biotrophies on Machine Worlds, so I would make all my planets that are not my planet preference into Machine Worlds, ones without sanctuaries on them. Conversely, you should also get the Arcology's Ascension perk as soon as it comes up. Then make all your planets with sanctuaries and arcology. Unless the planet is a mining, generator, or an agricultural world, then leave it be. Another thing you can do is build battle frame armies and eventually mega warforms. These are very effective ground troop armies, and mega warforms have high collateral damage. They also have very high health pool. However, they are very expensive. So when you conquer a new planet from the enemy, all their pops become biotrophies. You can then resettle them to your empty sanctuaries, eliminating stability issues and getting a massive unity boost. Make sure you designate sanctuary worlds and fill them with sanctuaries as well. That's all I got for now. I believe I've covered most of how to play a rogue servitor. Hopefully this helped. I'll see you next time.